All right, hour 36 of my uh, intermittent fasting to mourn the death of the US dollar 50 years ago today. Uh, I uh, experienced uh, transitory pain when I was breaking the 24 hour barrier yesterday. I think that's what throws a lot of people off, but I feel so lightweight now, nothing can bother me. And I love it. Um, I, uh, my first time going on the fast, I was a little bit going on a 48 hour fast almost a year and a half ago now. I also uh, was very pleasantly surprised at how easy it was once you break that one barrier at the beginning. I would say there are a couple barriers one has to break when they first go on a 24 hour fast. The first one is more of a habit breaking, right? People have a tendency to reach. I remember when I first started doing intermittent fasting, I had to make sure to get all the foods out of my uh, desk at work, in my car, out of my bedroom, get, get it all out of there because I would instinctively reach for stuff. I don't seem to have that problem anymore. I no, I no longer have to hide things. That was the first uh, thing that threw me a little bit at the beginning. Uh, I would say, uh, th Another big barrier relating to habits is the time of the day. People see certain time of the day, certain activities, and they instinctively uh, associate that with food. Uh, I've broken a lot of those as well. It helps that I moved, right? Um, if you're in the process of moving, or maybe there's another lockdown, or maybe reopening, right? Try to use that as an opportunity to change your ways, right? It'll be a lot easier if you don't have those associations. Uh, I think a lot of people misused the lockdown. They, they used that to associate it with binge eating and binge watching and all the other unhealthy activities, right? Uh, but, uh, and then, uh, usually between hour 16 and 24 is usually uh, the toughest part of uh, the intermittent fast. Once you get past 24, usually things ease up quite a bit and you'll feel like you'll never want to eat again. Uh, because you feel so lightweight and so carefree and so uh, yesterday I talked about the financial benefits so uh, lately I've been going to the grocery store and realizing oh my god I have nothing I want to buy I still go there because out of habit and out of social interaction you know I uh, and then I realized oh my god you know what what am I here for and it's so, it's such a liberating feeling right or I walk past um you see, it, it, it's hard for me to go to a restaurant because of dietary restrictions. So I go to the shopping mall and there might be two or three restaurants in the food court that I could even think about eating at. And I walk past them, oh my God, why am I walking here? You know, I, I don't want to eat. And so it's such a relieving feeling, to be, not only because of fi finances, but because of how clean your life can be, right? You don't have to worry about washing your hands, your, your electronics don't get dirty, the camera that I'm recording this on doesn't get dirty and it seems to last a whole lot longer and um, you realize you have a lot more time for other activities you're not bogged down by having to eat right if I have to travel somewhere right traveling is difficult because of dietary restrictions imagine I see uh, something that I want to do in Warsaw Poland right now right and I gotta I gotta fly from here to uh, well first I got to think about where to park my car and then take a bus to the airport and then I gotta fly probably to Seattle or New York first and then another flight to Frankfurt and then to Warsaw and then if I want to go to the beach in Gdansk Bay I gotta take a train there and I don't have to think about how I'm gonna arrange all my food I don't have to worry about asking ingredients especially when I have language barriers in Germany or Poland uh, and or on the plane right um, Although I might have to ask the person sitting next to me to be careful not to spill their food on me. Sometimes that gets tricky, but it, that, that's a much lower barrier, especially when I'm relaxed from fasting. That's a much easier ask to make than to have to worry about what I'm going to eat during the trip, right? And you can see from this video, I'm a lot more relaxed than the other day when I was so angry about uh, discrimination. Uh, I tend to get angry after I eat for some reason. Uh, one, of, one of the reasons of I initially started fasting, I never had to make use of this, 
I was worried that I would be forcefully quarantined and not have access to suitable foods. I have food allergies, I have autism, and I control it with my diet. See, one of my big fears in life is to be locked up and not have access to uh, healthy foods and then to leave the clinic or the hospital or whatever it is worse than how I came in, right? Maybe I came in with a mild case of COVID and I come out with heart disease, right? Or I compromise my immune system to the point that the COVID becomes much more full-blown than it has to be. You get the idea, right? That's a big fear of mine. When I was working out my fasting at the beginning, I remember thinking maybe I can work myself up to two weeks so that if I do get quarantined, I could, I could even protest what they're feeding me there, right? Go on a hunger strike and all that and, and be happy about it. Anyway, happy 50th birthday to the fiat U.S. dollar.